Yaimiko is a divine kitsune. As the Electro Archon's familiar and Guji of the Grand Narukami Shrine, her dignified presence commands awe and respect. But as chief editor of the Yai Publishing House, and a patron and participant of festivities, her crafty tone keeps you guessing. This leaves many uncertain of how to deal with the majestic but mystifying Miko. In reality, however, if you want to make Lady Guji smile, you needn't deliver an eloquent speech. You simply need to say these four magic words. Something amusing just happened. Whatever would you do without me? In Yaimiko's eyes, shooing away pesky intruders is a tedious task that does not require her personal involvement. She can leave this to the Kitsune spirits. Only when her curiosity is aroused will Yaimiko show her fabled fox form and summon lightning plummeting from above. It's said that those lucky enough to witness this spectacle never live to tell of the tale. With her age and experience, Yaimiko is one of the most learned in the land. Even if the spur-of-the-moment stories she enjoys telling make this hard to believe. When Yaimiko crafts character talent materials, there is a chance to obtain one extra random item of the same region. This item has the same rarity as the material consumed. Yaimiko's normal attack performs up to three consecutive attacks, dealing electro damage. Her charged attack consumes a set amount of stamina and deals AoE electro damage after a short casting time. Tap her elemental skill and Yaimiko moves swiftly, leaving behind a Seisho Sakura. While on the field, it periodically strikes one nearby enemy with lightning, dealing electro damage. This skill has three charges, and a maximum of three Seisho Sakura can exist at one time. If another Seisho Sakura is nearby, its level is increased, meaning its lightning strikes deal more damage. Initially, Seisho Sakura are created at level 1, and the maximum level is 3. By strategically spacing the Seisho Sakura, Yaimiko can quickly create an ideal formation to increase their damage level and put her enemy in a difficult position. When the Guji of the Shrine recites a blessing, thunder roars in response. After unlocking the talent Enlightened Blessing, Seisho Sakura damage is increased, based on Yaimiko's elemental master. I'm always watching. When Yaimiko unleashes her elemental burst, she summons a lightning strike, dealing AoE electro damage. When cast, Yaimiko unseals nearby Seisho Sakura, destroying their outer forms and transforming them into Tenko Thunderbolts, dealing further AoE electro damage. For each Seisho Sakura destroyed in this way, one Tenko Thunderbolt strikes down. After unlocking the talent, the Shrine's Sacred Shade, when Yaimiko casts her elemental burst, each Seisho Sakura destroyed resets the cooldown for one charge of her elemental skill. Don't let Yaimiko's graceful outward appearance fool you into thinking she is gracious in temperament, for that would be a fatal error. During battle, Yaimiko does not think twice before unleashing Seisho Sakura. She ensnares the enemy in a perilous position, dealing damage and creating opportunities for teammates to attack. When energy is full, Yaimiko unleashes her elemental burst, unsealing nearby Seisho Sakura and summoning Tenko Thunderbolts to make sure these tiresome foes disappear for good. In storytelling skill, the writers of the Yaya Publishing House are my superior. When I get talking, I tend to speak of true historical events. But under Chief Editor Yai's guidance, works of sheer fantasy thrive, accounting for the vast majority of popular light novels. Maybe in another few centuries, archaeologists will find books filled with pure fiction, mistake them for rare historical records, and draw all kinds of conclusions from them. Perhaps by then, the truth of the past will be consumed as entertaining fiction. Its only purpose, to meet people's need for novelty. Save for the sneering of the kitsune, all that will remain is the despairing sighs of the long forgotten.